Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Better give a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life serene. Alrighty, my dears, so just for a rundown of what went into the treat bag, this really awkward shot is me trying to arrange it for the thumbnail, lol. So we've got a pumpkin face lollipop, two biscuits, two sticks of hair chalk, balloons, a Disney pencil topper, Zappos, chopper chews, crazy dip, a bow tie, a Jack Skellington head, and gummy bear, strawberry, donut, Mickey Mouse, band-aids. So how sticky the band-aids are, I couldn't tell you, but I was very excited to find them. Um, and the little cookies here, the witch's uh, face that's up on the bag is just amazing to me. So that was um, just so fun packing them all together. And now here I'm uh, getting ready some apple spells um, that I like to give out. So I have apples as well as candy. And this is a, um, this is a piece of parchment um, that's got the thing in it. Basically it's a wishing spell where you cut the apple in half horizontally and you make wishes upon the seeds because the pentacle of the seeds represent the five elements, water, um, air, fire and earth and then ether or spirit, the mystery. Um, and then you eat half the apple and then you bury the other half um, and that way the earth is carrying the you know, the, the flesh of this thing that you made your wish towards. So it's a very sweet, very positive spell that I think is good for kids. And I knew that I wanted to seal it with wax this year when I folded it, because I've only just got this um, waxing equipment this year. I didn't do it last year. And I knew that um, it would make it look like it was from Hogwarts and stuff. So I knew I wanted to give that to the kids. So I did that too. Take my father. I've always considered him an open book. A man given to misguided schemes and exaggerated displays of affection. But when he was a student, he was accused of a murder that took place right up there. Which leads me to wonder. What really happened that stormy night? Why? Because I was a member? I'll never live up to your legacy here. So I try. I won the Pope Cup, you claimed it four times. I joined the fencing team, you captured it. Alright y'all, we're getting to the pointy end. Thing is mended, it took a hot second to do it, but I figured out that putting him in this glass and therefore not having to apply the glue and the pins one-handed was what did it because they kept dropping. Um, so I'm about to put the wax seals onto these and I feel like that's what's gonna you know, make kids really excited especially. So I've got my red wax and my um, uh, wax stamp. Okay, the notes for the apples are finished. I think there's like, I can't remember how many of them. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 15, 20. So that's a lot of apples I'll need to buy, but I guess I just have to suppose that not everyone is going to want one. Like, ugh, I don't know, it's like 20 is a lot of apples, so yeah. I have also got my bag ready to put the candy in because I realized this is much more interesting. Um, and has a Wednesday vibe more than one of my bowls. It also travels better. Okay, time to go hand out the candy. Wig on, thing on, let's go. Okay guys, it is now the 1st of November, or at least it's the 1st of November when I'm filming this. Hopefully I'm able to get this video out on the 1st of November or near it, so. Well, hey Tess, your internet was basically not letting you upload for like a good number of days. So now you're putting this up insanely late. So, que sera, sera. But anyway, last night uh, I went to hand out the candy and I've got a tale or two to tell. So first of all, I think I was so much more successful than I was last year because I stayed out for longer, like hours and hours longer. Um, and I also moved around to a few different places, so I think that's part of what did it. But um, I was in um, this uh, square bit first, it has a canopy in it, so it's called the canopy. Um, and then um, and then I moved to just another spot uh, near a playground, just because to kill time there basically. Um, and then I went to another place that was sort of um, between two buildings and it creates a walkway from the canopy to another um, place where there's a supermarket but also the place where there is a car park. So anyone who has driven up to spend any kind of time at um, uh, at this sort of town centre we have has to park there. So it's always going to be a place where people are going to be going through. I also think that being a recognisable character really helped because last year I was just kind of a witch. Like I had my cape on and I had my hat on and that was obviously fun. But like A, that's not really a costume for me. Um, but secondly, I feel like witch is just kind of predictable. I knew I wanted to do something better this year, and so obviously I had to go as Wednesday, so I did, and I think it meant that I caught people's eye more easily, so um, I think being a recognisable character was uh, certainly a smart, uh, smart thing to do. So when I was in the canopy at first, um, it was crawling with school kids because it's a place where like a lot of them hang out because there's like places to get food around there, like there's frozen yogurt and you can get hot chips, blah, blah, blah. Um, or fries, the way you say them in America, we say hot chips. Um, and so there are a bunch of kids there and so I just went down and just sat on a bench just normally and it took them a while to notice me but I think the fact that I was Wednesday and I had thing caught their eye and so some of them were coming over and like word kind of spread among them that there was someone there who was giving out lollies you know not just a person but like Wednesday 
Um, so I kept having kids come over until at some point um, I had like 10 kids all in front of me. Maybe they all knew each other and that was the thing, but um, they were asking me those inane kid questions that kids ask adults if you bother to talk to them for longer than 30 seconds. Um, where I've always thought that um, meeting a child on a respectful level is always what I want to do. Like, um, if it's like literally a two-year-old, then obviously I'm going to be like, oh, you're so cute, hi. But if these kids were, you know, eight and nine years old, so I'm not just going to say, oh, you guys are so cute, and then kind of say nothing else. Like, if they have a question for me, and they always do, then I'm going to answer it. So they did the um, classic, oh, do you have a boyfriend? And I was like, no. Um, but the one that I loved the most was a little girl with this very serious look on her face who sat next to me and said, <clears throat> do you support um, LGBTQ? And I like nearly freaked out. I wanted to hug her, but obviously I don't know her. So that would have been weird. Um, but, um, I just thought that was so sweet and it also, like, reminded me of how much further we have come as a society. Like, a kid that young is talking about that. So I just said, yeah, I'm the bee. And she was like, oh, okay. And so then this kind of echoes between the other kids. And at first I thought it was going to be like that vine. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Michael with a B and I've been afraid of insects my stop, entire Stop, stop, stop. Where? Hmm? Where's the bee? There's a bee? Um, I, I thought it was going to be that, but it went kind of through and I was like, yes, I'm the bee. And they say bisexual. Yes, that's me. So eventually I moved to the playground, as I said, and um, I was also keen to sit in the shade because I'd been in the sun at the canopy and I was just roasting in my black dress. Um, so I just sat and chilled near the playground and I just reflected upon how much cooler playgrounds are now than when I was a kid. Like, not only are they safer with kind of the, like, rubber boing 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 floor, but there's also, like, built-in trampolines and stuff. Like, I just, that was amazing. So, um, I'm very jealous of kids today for that one reason. So when I moved to my third spot between the buildings that was kind of the foot traffic uh, spot that I mentioned, there were so many people going by that I ran out of my candy so fast that I had to go and like run to the nearby supermarket really fast and go and get more candy three times. That's how many people there were because I didn't want to just be like, you know, oh, I've ran out, you know, who cares and just go home. Like it was too fun. Um, and I, um, and it was just good vibes from people. Um, because obviously it's, uh, parents who are being positive just as much as the kids. Um, so I, I very much liked that and I didn't want to just go home before I had to. Um, so I saw two little Wednesdays. Um, one of them was this girl who had her back to me and I was kind of, Wednesday! And she didn't hear me, but she had the prom dress on. Um, and then the other little girl could see me, like she was coming up to me and she got very excited and very jiggly when she could see that I was Wednesday too. Um, and I completely admit to giving her an extra little piece of candy because she was Wednesday. So, you know, sue me, cancel me, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> However, just one little drawback. So I'm sitting there and this is before a bunch of the kids were coming. Most of them came later in the evening when they had already gone to their streets for trick or treating because a lot of them were coming up to me with candy already in their buckets. But before they came, there wasn't really anybody um, until they got there. So I was just sitting there kind of killing time and um, these teenage boys were starting to walk past and I was like, oh no, here we go. Just because obviously like a teenage boy within himself isn't ne um, necessarily a bad person. And they were just that type where they're going trick or treating to 
take candy that would otherwise be given to kids, like they're, they're taking that up, and yet they're not like taking their costumes seriously at all, like half of them weren't even wearing anything. Um, and they're kind of like doing it ironically, like, oh my god, look at these little kids. And like, um, I kind of spotted that and I was like, mm. so they were walking past and one of them says, um, uh, oh look, Wednesday, she's got lollies. So he said that and then, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe he can come over here, get some lollies. Um, but then his friend, uh, no sooner has the, um, has the sentence left the other one's mouth, this other guy says, oh, hey, Wednesday, will you give me head? And I'm like, so there are like children between the ages of three and nine, like well within earshot of you and of me. And secondly, Wednesday is a canonically underage character. So well done on being an absolute friggin' shame to society in just so many layers. Like you're catcalling a woman who is dressed as, as a child. Wednesday just turned 16. She's legally a child. Um, so that was just fucking marvelous. But then obviously because of the aforementioned children being around, just a couple of them, um, it meant that I could not say back what I would normally say. And you probably can assume this about me, just f going from my channel and everything, but um, I would have flayed him living. If you don't know what flaying is, it's peeling someone's skin off, like to reveal the nerves and muscle underneath. So metaphorically, I would have done that while he was still alive with my words. If I was able to just yell at him with there being no children, like I would have completely destroyed him. So I couldn't do that because of the children. And so that was very frustrating. And so I think what I ended up doing after everything occurred to me that I was like, okay, Tess, no, you can't say that. Um, um, after everything occurred to me, I'm pretty sure I just went tss, 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 like that, like literally as though they were dogs, um, which is fun. But um, some of the things that occurred to me, I'm going to tell you because I couldn't tell them. So there would be the classic, nice and short, that's what your dad said. Um, we could uh, extend that by saying that's what your dad said and I bit it off, fuck you, maybe. Um, but the one that um, I was most distraught about not being able to say was the Academy for Worthless Cunts is that way, move along. Because they were walking this way. So, <sighs> the world will never know except for you. So there's that. But then what I love is that the one who called out before, oh look, Wednesday has lollies. When he saw the death stare that I was giving his friend because he um, yelled. And so obviously my face went to absolute, I'm gonna kill you mode. Um, and when this guy saw the look on my face, he just, he just stammered and said, I, I don't want any lollies from you. And it's like, well done showing yourself up. Like, I just thought that was funny. You know, your friend just got his ass handed to him. And if I wasn't so polite and concerned about children, he could have got his ass flayed and burned before I gave it back to him. Um, but when he saw the look on my face, he was like, Oh, I don't, mm -hmm, I don't want candy from her. So he just said that to me. I just, pff, that was hilarious. Um, two other kids uh, made it much better. Um, one was a little girl 
who had this kind of green dress on and a red mark in her throat, like not fake blood, just texture, um, to make it look like it was dripping, like she'd been, her throat had been cut. Um, and I guess her parents decided that she was too young for real fake blood. My parents would have let me wear it, but <laughs> hers not, I guess. Um, so I was like, oh, you know, who are you? Are you a murder victim? You know, what's happening? Um, and she said, I'm Anne Boleyn. And I just loved that for her. I do think that she should have had the crown to indicate further of who she was, but like, come on kid, that's freaking iconic. Like, I did Hermione Granger when I was really little. Um, I did uh, Scout Finch when I was slightly less little. I've done Madame Mim from, uh, from A Sword in the Stone. And I've done Lady Macbeth also, but like, Anne Boleyn, when she is that young, oh, that like, I am, I'm so into that. So well done, kid. That was iconic. But then secondly, like, this little girl came up to me and her, her bucket was pretty much full. And so I gave her a candy and she gave me one back, like in trade, like to not just take it, but to be in trade. Um, and I was like, oh my god, you're so cute. And she started to walk away. And then, um, obviously when she came up to me, this, I did this with all the kids. I was like, hey, I'm Wednesday, this is Thing. Which is obviously, like, um, completely out of character for Wednesday. But if I just sat there and was miserable, then, like, it would be within character, but it wouldn't be very fun. So I'd said, I'm Wednesday, this is Thing. Um, and so this little girl trades me the piece of candy and she starts to walk away and then she comes back and gives me another piece and says, this is for him. She gave me an extra piece of her candy for thing. I just, I, I about died, you guys. I just think... Oh, it was just the last thing I expected. When, when she gave me one back, I didn't think that could get any cuter. And then she said, oh yeah, this is one for thing. And like, oh my God, I died. I just died inside, inside. <laughs> anyway, it was an amazing way to kind of end the Halloween season. And it stopped it from being kind of a drop in my mood, um, which was good. So I've had an amazing and fun vlogoween. I hope you guys have had one too, um, looking at my videos. And I would love to do this again next year if I have the time. I'm kind of hoping that I don't have the time because I'm doing other super cool things that I can show you. But definitely, even if I can't do vlogoween every single day, there will definitely be extra videos for Halloween. Like that's, no, I can't just do one video a week for October. No, it's got to be more. So um, uh, you guys will see that at least. So subscribe for more of my chaos. I do ridiculous vlogs. I do crafty things. I do witchy things. I just do whatever I want basically on this channel and I'm always open to like new video ideas because I have a few at the moment that I would like to do. So um, in any case, whether you choose to stay or go, happy Halloween and I love you. Keep going.